shut up compressor. Okay, enough fucking around with little side quests. Uh, it's time to get back to moving the jug right along. First, we're going to be painting this area behind the cockpit, uh, restoring it to the dark dull green, but we need a little bit of black to kind of make sure everything balances first. I don't know if I put that much pressure. There we go. This might sound a bit loud because it's got all this paper around it, but I, I'm just really not in the mood to uh, even contemplate dealing with overspray right now. So. Okie doke, that was easy. Okay, next we need to go ahead and prime the uh, canopy slide. For this I'm using, okay, there's that. While I'm playing in that pond, the propeller needs some repair. And there's the propeller all primed up. Okay, now that we've got black applied, it's time to do some gunship green, which is doing its little stand-in for our dark dull green. There's that guy, we're gonna set him aside for a minute. Next up we're gonna do the canopy. Sweet. Take one little run around this bastard. Make sure that we've got everything burnished the way it needs to be. Okay, now the plan for the canopy, so I got the outside and the inside masked off, and that's great, but the outside needs to be shiny bare metal. So what I'm going to do first is paint the green on the outside and the inside, then we're going to come back and give it some glossy black. And only when that's done are we going to come back and do the bare metal. And that will honestly probably happen later because I need to mask off the windscreen, which is also bare metal and will be a uh, gigantic pain in the ass to mask. I'm trying to go slow on this one because we don't get any primer to play with. Probably really not necessary to go ahead and get the full interior, but I'm trying to do what we can to make sure that what you can see when the canopy's open looks all right. So this front portion at least matters. Okay, that's taken care of. All right, back to this guy. Okay. 
Okay, we got that knocked out. <clears throat> Let's clean out the airbrush and then we're gonna do one more thing before we unmask. All right, next up we're gonna lay down some MRP semi-matte. Well, we've got this nice and masked off. One more little thing. That's all there is to that. All right. Holy fucking shit, the crane flies are going just bonkers tonight. Bouncing off my head, bouncing off the kit. And I just saw a fucking June bug fly by. It's March. Too bad coronavirus doesn't kill insects. Of course, you go to get one and you just get their fucking leg. Insects bouncing around really kill the damn mood, that's for sure. All right. Peel off the last bit of this. Or not. <laughs> Close. There we go. Ta da! Got that upper deck nail down. All right, what comes next? So we've got a couple options at this point. The big thing kind of standing in front of me at the moment is I need to make the windscreen bare metal and I need to do touch-ups back here on the fillets. Um, yeah. I also need to get in here and find a way to mask and paint the, uh, if you can see, let's see, I need a thing to point with. If you can see in here inside the uh, intercooler doors, sort of the bottom and top need to be masked off and given the, uh, bare metal treatment because I don't think that uh, they would actually paint the, the part that is just sitting there like the ducting so that needs to happen and I also need to do that on the actual doors themselves so we've got some bare metal type stuff that needs to happen also need to mask off and paint the prop and just a few other fun things like that so whew, where to begin that's the tricky part um, one thing I think I need to do, just looking very carefully at this, is right up here, 
it looks like I need to do some masking or not masking I need to do some spraying of some light blue right along the edge of the windscreen because it looks at least from this angle here that I'm looking at it let's see if I can capture it on right there you can see it looks a little bit darker so I need to clear that up before we get into the actual bare metalization of the windscreen so maybe that's what I'll do next Okay, that looks like it has been managed. Gotta say though, I am not looking forward to uh, masking that fucking windscreen. Okay, so you might be asking what is so damn bad about masking off this windscreen? Well, I was hoping to paint it before I installed it, but the fit is honestly not what I hoped it would be. I know we walked through that with the uh, installing and adding the putty and all that shit. But basically, what you've got here is you've got a very gentle curve along the outside. Then it gets up to these corners and it curves around this way. Then you hit the front and it curves this way. Then it curves back around. So you have essentially one and two small little circle areas that you need to account for, and you have this one much bigger one that you have to account for. <sighs> and some very gentle curves on the outside, which I'm not as concerned about masking. Um, I think that some Azu tape will probably manage that just fine. With these other ones, we're gonna have to get a bit creative. Okay, so I've got this Makatar set that has a bunch of curvy elements to it. And I think it might be able to do some of this job. Need a tighter curve than that. You can see it's basically a whole big masking sheet full of curves, which is great for that, uh, that one need that we got. That one's too shallow. I think that might just do it. I gotta raise my chair up so I can look down on this damn thing. Excuse me, camera. Man, it's a little bit too high. Hold, please. Okay, so I may have gone a little bit crazy here uh, with the masking. At the same time, when you're spraying metallics and kind of the way they go on, you're also going to be getting overspray galore. And I probably need to think about masking off or putting some sort of barrier up to keep stuff from getting back on the tail back here. Just because if you're spraying this way, it kind of... Uh, metallics go everywhere. So... I figure, even though it looks silly and stupid, um, in this particular case, this is probably better safe than sorry territory. Now, for the spraying, I'm going to be using just some good old um, MRP5 black. I'm planning to add some GX100 on top of it. And as a matter of fact, where is my GX100? Nope, that's GX1. That would not help me in this situation. One thirteen. There's my baby. GX100. All right, I need a 
I'm gonna try something here that I've never tried before. Nothing like experimenting on a live build, right? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just, just a few happy drops of GX100 in there alongside the MRP Black. And then we're gonna, excuse me, landing gear. We're gonna add a few drops of Mr. Leveling Thinner. And we're gonna see how this does. So quick paint mule test first. All these awesome decals on it. I think that might do the trick. Again, the nifty thing about using K-Colors Metallics is it doesn't need to be Mirror shine glossy. Now, scoot that guy out of the way. Let's go ahead and get in here. Okay, we got a nice black canopy. We've maintained the uh, dark dull green on the front face. Now while we're in here playing with this color, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the central part of the prop. Cool, got a nice shiny center prop area there. All right, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down for the night. Get a good night's sleep with all the uh, coronavirus shit flying around. And we will do the bare metal in the morning. And we will do the bare metal tomorrow night. Okay, so it's now tomorrow, or today, depending on your reference point. And we're going to be using some K-Colors 60 Steel for the windscreen and canopy. Now, 60... Fuck. Sorry. Bug. Um... Now, 60 steel and 15 aluminum are very close in terms of actual final appearance. It's almost hard to tell which is which when you look at them even side by side. So, just trying to spread the love and get some very slightly different tones from the rest of what's going on here. All right. Swear to God, the crane flies out here are making this place almost completely fucking unworkable. Everywhere you look. So I think once I get this first coat down on everything, I'm going to come back and grab the aluminum and spray it on top. Because something about the way this is going down, this is not the way it normally goes down.
that I think it's time to clean up the bench a bit because I'm getting into that uh, 12 by 12 work area where everything is crowded out and no matter what you do, hold on. I'm going to war against these motherfuckers. Okay, so we got a canopy frame. I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes, and we're gonna come back and put a bit of. Uh, semi-gloss on top of it. And now it's time for a little bit of a semi-gloss action. Ta-da! Well, I'm asking for such a little damn thing. <clears throat> cool, that's looking not too shabby. <laughs> 